Good morning, folks. We're going to do a quick recap of the watch so far and then get into the news. I showed this a few times at the end of last year. January didn't have much in the way of geocentric conjunctions and oppositions, at least not grouped together. You can see at the bottom that February is the end of that drought. As of January 27th, my keeping track of significant earthquakes showed five such quakes in 2013. The long term average is approximately three such quakes per week, so this represents a very slow start to the new year. In the news that day, we examined the imminent planetary positions. The geocentric activity starting February 4th begged for a watch, and Stereo B showed some coronal holes on the way. These are a major objective and subjective factor in these watches. Coronal holes are large openings in the umbral magnetic field, which we are just beginning to correlate as well. By January 30th, it was clear that the coronal holes were a little ahead of schedule. Rather than wait for February 4th, it was prudent to begin the watch early, officially set for February 1st through the 11th. But that night, part of the earth-facing umbral field disappeared. We didn't have to wait for February. A slow start turned to a foot race as the six-pointers came fast and in mass until February 2nd. The quakes died down as the field reappeared. February 4th? You don't think we forgot the planets, did you? The sun's brightness blocked the conjunctions overhead, and as multiple conjunctions began to unfold and, in green, another coronal hole turned towards Earth, the earthquakes did not immediately reappear, but late on February 5th, the umbral field showed us another trick. Again, on the right, all night, and as February 6th began, two fields became one. The umbral magnetic field was quiet until that one pinch on the bottom right from late on the 8th into February 9th. The USGS has downgraded the Columbian 7-pointer just beneath that and we had some minor activity the rest of the day. It's a new moon today and the lunar conjunctions are ending so hopefully the quakes will start to die down. On with the news, two volcanoes showing activity last 24 hours, the Batu Tara in Indonesia and perhaps more expectedly after last week, Vanuatu showing activity close to the quake zone. Ongoing update on the Fukushima disaster part 2, the long-term mess has begun to pile up on the coastlines. The nuclear event in the middle of a blizzard, they did lose external power but were able to go auxiliary and the shutdown went smoothly. Real quick, top weather stories include a new cyclone, exploring the central pacific right now, and this, I know I have been much, much more focused on the United States weather the last week. but. We had the worst blizzard on the planet not currently located in Siberia, and it's now being followed by tornado warnings and thunderstorms on the southern edge of another blizzard. It's got about 100 million people potentially in the area of effect. In case you missed yesterday's news addendum, the filament eruption and solar tsunami that produced a tiny C2 hydro flare up north did expel a solid amount of ejecta as a CME. NASA's annual spirals show glancing blow to Earth. Watch on the right side, yellow is Earth, you're looking for the splash. NOAA's endless spiral has been fully updated as well. Now this shows a clear impact, but also shows it should be weak, if anything. The solar wind speed in yellow, dropping slightly. You tend to get bunched up particles when that happens, and above in orange, the density did elevate a bit. Caught our magnetosphere off guard and was able to induce a brief baseline frequency. NOAA has this active region labeled Beta Gamma. Whatever they saw when they labeled last night must be gone this morning because the polarities appear nicely separated from where I'm sitting. More could happen in the middle, but as of yet, has not. I've also got my peripherals trained on the limb. You're not sneaking up on anyone, small fry. I caught a glimpse of a very pretty filament of plasma off the southeastern limb while I watched these thin dark plasma filaments turn towards Earth. I thought they'd erupt when they destabilized, instead they slid back into the sun. May still erupt today as the last of that dark coronal hole turns away on the south. We do have one headed in up north, but the quake factors are waning. Let's hope they wane fast. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.